We are now looking at section 7, capital B, the variable remuneration section. Now, this section applies to variable remuneration. Variable remuneration are amounts, so variable means it varies, it changes. So what amounts changes when you pay your employees? It's things like overtime, bonuses, commission, right? Leave pay. Any of those amounts are considered variable because they, it depends on how much overtime you worked, how much the company made, how much sales you made to earn commission, all of those things, how much leave you had. The salary is constant every month, but these changes. Now, when we looked at the general deduction formula, and when we looked at the gross income definition, we saw certain timing rules. So for example, for gross income, they would tell you that an amount is included in your gross income on the early of receipt or accrual, and that means when you become unconditionally entitled to it. For the general deduction formula, we saw when you have an unconditional legal obligation or liability to pay something, then it has been incurred. Now what section 7b tells us, it says for these amounts that you've received, right, including section 81 b this allowance is a travel allowance. So for overtime pay, bonuses, commission, travel allowances and leave pay, those variable remuneration, it says you will not look at your normal rules for gross income and for general deduction formula to tell, determine when these amounts are included in your t income or deducted. Remember those rules we just discussed? You're not going to look at it. Instead, they say, you will look at the actual date of payment, and that is when you will include it if you receive it, or when you can deduct it if you are the one paying it. So it says, in determining the taxable income by any person in a year, any amount to which an employee becomes entitled from the employer is deemed to accrue to the employee and it be expenditure for the employer. So it's gross income for the employee and expenses for the employer on the date on which the amount is paid to the employee by the employer. So in other words, Section 7B overrides our normal rules. So here are the rules. If it's an expense, you can only deduct it once it's been paid. If it's income, you can only include it once it has been paid. And again, guys, this is only for variable remuneration. So amounts paid by an employer to an employee. They specifically tell you that. Paid to the employee by the employer. And it's these amounts. It's not other fringe benefits. It's not salary. It's not payments to your suppliers. It's employer to employee variable payments. Only included the income for the person receiving it and only deducted from taxable income for the person paying it on the date that it has been paid.